Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be refinishing this little wash stand that I got at 3rd Street Market. Um, first step will be to clean this top surface really well. And it's actually like a formica or laminate, so it's really slick. I'm going to be using um, Dixie Belle's primer called Slick Stick, which is really good for gripping the paint onto a slick surface. So let's get started. So this is all I got today, just to get me started. I have used Dixie Belle a lot of times in the past. I just kind of pick it up from random retailers that I find along the way. Um, so, but this is my first like boxed order since we've become retailers ourselves. So if you want to order Dixie Belle, don't forget that we just started an Etsy site where you can order Dixie Belle for yourself. Let me show you everything I'm using today. So the Slick Stick is not from today's order, but I wanted to talk about it really quickly. It is one of Dixie Belle's primers. They have a couple other dif different options, but this one is specific for things that are glossy, um, and what does it say? And other hard, shiny surfaces. So it's more of like a gripping primer so that your paint won't just rub off as soon as you put it on there. So that's why I used it on top of this dry sink because it was such a slick surface. Like even sanding it wasn't gonna make it grip the paint enough. So the Slick Stick is something I've used a few times and I really like it. Uh, my mom gave me this little sponge that you're supposed to use with the gator hide. So this is the Easy Peasy Spray Wax. It's a clear matte finish. I haven't used it yet, but I'm really looking forward to having this, especially for my smaller projects where I do, where I like refinish the ceramic pieces that I get from Goodwill and paint those with chalk paint. It just seems like it'll be really easy to use um, rather than having to rub the wax on. So this will be just an experiment for me, and I think this is a pretty new product. So spray wax, that's pretty exciting to me. Um, and then this is the White Lightning Cleaner, and it's a really, really good degreaser, and it's just you know the perfect prep step for any piece that you're about to work on. So that's really important to start with your cleaner and then go on to your primer. And then Gator Hide is one of Dixie Belle's um, top coat, and this is like their really heavy duty water repellent top coat. So they have a clear coat besides this that isn't quite as durable, and then they have all of their waxes. And then here's the three colors I got today. I have used drop cloth before. It's like a very off-white, I don't know why we're having such a hard time here. Here we go. Um, and then I also got sandbar. On camera, they're almost the same. And off camera, they're almost the same. <laughs> the sandbar is just a little bit darker. The drop cloth, I would say, has a little bit more yellow to it. Um, but I really am trying to get away from like bright whites and do some more cottagey colors, some more like, um, I don't know, just cozy colors. So I feel like bright white, I'm kind of over it. And I'd rather do like these off white, warmer colors. Again, you know, everything comes back in style. I know we've gotten away from the off whites and the tans and the beiges, but I am liking those a lot again. Um, so I wanted the sandbar uh, just for a good neutral and then the drop cloth I'm going to be using more as my white replacement. I actually use drop cloth on my light fixtures. So I mean it is a very light color but you can see against the ceiling there it is definitely an off white. So these ceiling fixtures used to be like a really dated dark brass color and instead of spending the money on new light fixtures, I just refinished them with this Dixie Belle paint. And I really like how those came out. But that is how the drop cloth looks against bright white. The sandbar I'm really excited about, and then the evergreen I use quite a bit. It is, you know, a pretty rich green. A lot of times I'll darken it a bit with black, and that'll give me like the perfect shade of like an old chalkboard kind of color, which is my favorite. But for today's dry sink, I'm gonna be mixing the evergreen and the sandbar. I'm kinda of going for like a really medium, like old fashioned farmhouse green for this dry sink. So I'm just gonna jump right into the project now. If you have any questions about Dixie Bell, just let me know in the comments below.
Okay, here's a little bonus footage for you. I'm going to share with you how I'm repainting my hutch. I was not gonna do this today and I was definitely not gonna film it just because it helped, It doesn't help me go any quicker to be putting things on film, but I already got started. So I might as well show you guys how I'm doing. I'm using the same green that I just used in the, the dry sink except for I added some of this graphite color into it just to darken it a smidge so it's a little bit more olive. So the actual color is like this down here. Right now my hutch is a really poor shade of graphite. It actually used to be like a shiny black from the factory, but I'm really trying to go less farmhouse and more like cottagey in here. So I'm going to do the green and then I have these, where'd they go? Here. 
I have these chunky like wooden knobs that I got from Home Depot. I have some of the big ones and then some of the smaller ones. So I'm gonna do the big ones like here on these little drawers. And then the smaller ones here, 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 and here. I'm gonna paint out these handles and I'm gonna paint over the little detail here in green and then probably like white wax it or just distress it so it comes back through a little bit. I hope this is a quick project, but every time I say, oh, it's gonna be so quick, it never is. But I'm just gonna knock this out today because it's been bothering me that, cause I never really finished the graphite paint job. It was just kind of an attempt to take away the shine of the black, which I liked a lot. But then I saw so many pictures of green hutches and I love green and I've gotten pretty neutral in this room. I feel like a punch of color is exactly what this space needs. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna paint this green and I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. Right, guys I'm gonna wrap up today's video there I hope you enjoyed watching these pieces of furniture turn from old and drab to bright green it's my favorite color to play with as you can probably tell since I made such a statement piece with it today but I am loving how my hutch turned out I love how the dry sink turned out I'm having a lot of fun experimenting with the Dixie Belle paint and with the waxes um, this hutch is pretty much ready to go I just haven't waxed it yet and I haven't distressed it at all, but I'm, I'm just kind of liking how it looks right now, nice and clean, and then I'll kind of decide in a few days how much distressing I, I want to do, and then I'll seal it up. I don't know if you could tell from my video, but the Dixie Belle paint, it goes on so nice and thick. And I actually was using a spray bottle to kind of spread it a little bit thinner. It helps your paint go farther. It gives you a really nice, smooth finish without so many brush strokes. Brush? <laughs> without giving you so many brush strokes. And it also just kind of helps your arm not get so tired because sometimes you have to really drag that chalk paint across, but giving it a little spritz of water is all you need to do to make it go on nice and smooth. And this was a really quick project. I mean, this is a big piece of furniture and I was able to knock it out in a couple hours this afternoon. So I highly recommend this paint. It's definitely one of the best that I've used. And if I didn't mention it before, I'm gonna mention it one more time really quickly. 
You can get a free shipping code on my Etsy page if you order Dixie Belle, over $35. You just have to put the code GOVINTAGE in the discount codes like towards the end of your checkout and that'll give you free shipping over $35. I highly recommend just having some fun with Dixie Bell and trying it out for yourself. And once again, please let me know if you have any questions about how to use the paint or any of the other Dixie Bell products down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys so much for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed these projects and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.